Gives me chills. Hey, Dave. Hi. How you doing? I am wonderful. How are you today? Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm actually in Palo Alto today, but I wonder if you can help me with a question or two. Certainly. Okay. Um, I, I use a like a four year old laptop, and, okay. and because of that danger, I back up everything I have religiously to SD and CF cards. Oh, that's an interesting way to do it. Okay. And, and uh, about a month ago, the price of the four gig uh, um, SD card dropped so low that I just yeah. couldn't resist it, so I picked it up. How much was it? Um, I think it was seventy nine dollars for four gigabytes. Yeah. Unbelievable! Wow, and, and, and that's a I great kind of backup medium. Yeah, it would actually work in my camera. Right. So I tried it out, and and it, and it worked. Okay, but then when I plugged it into my uh, remote, like uh, you know, device to, to read it to read it on the PC, your, your card reader. The card reader, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'm using XP Pro. I don't have one here. Um, I was going to pull one it out. It didn't see it as formatted. It didn't. It, saw, it said this is unformatted data. Right. Huh. And so I, I, the picture wasn't worth anything to me, so I decided to format it just to see what would happen. And, and XP formatted it, but it only formatted it as about 9 7 me, uh, 970 megabytes. Interesting. So Interesting. I then put it back in the camera, formatted it there, and I got nearly 4 gig. So I was so never the deal? apprehensive at first just because... <laughs> The, the FAT system, I thought, only, only could support 2 gig. Yeah, the, the, the 1 gig is what's puzzling me. I mean, it, look, the, the way that uh, the solid-state memory works, it really is basically an IDE drive, right? Yeah. And so all of the limitations that happen with IDE drives happen with these memory sticks uh, as well. For instance, um, s m many older cameras cannot handle more than two gigabytes. They're using, mm -hmm. they're using, uh, you know, uh, insufficient number of uh, bits, whatever it is, 16 bits instead of 24 bits to represent the number of sectors on the drive. So they can only go to two gigabytes. So two gigabytes is not an unusual limit. In fact, you're lucky you have a recent model camera. You're able to see all four gigs. It's not true in all cameras. It's only been lately the cameras can see more than two gigs. Yeah, and I knew I was taking a risk. Well, I mean, risk, what's the risk? You, could, you still can format it in the camera. The issue, yeah. I think, is not your PC, but your memory reader. Because, in effect, this is your IDE interface. Mm -hmm. So if you have an older one, for instance, if it's a USB 1.1, not USB 2, or if it's even an older USB 2, it may be the limitation. Ah, uh, see, I'm not certain whether it's a 1.1 or a I, 2 USB, I but bet, it is a year old. Yeah, I bet what you want to do is go out and get a, a newer uh, card reader, memory uh -huh. card reader, and I think that will fix, that's, it's, mm -hmm. it's only a guess, Dave. But I'm thinking that will fix the problem. Uh, window, you have XP Service Pack 2? Yes, I'm yeah. current on all my updates. Okay, so there's no problem with four, a 4 gigabyte drive. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, and, and actually, well, now is there, if he, well, not a FAT32 there isn't. FAT16 there would be. Well, it, the thing is, when, when, when the, the drive is in uh, the, the reader, um, a, a two gigabyte SD is, is recognized as a fast. Yeah, so maybe that's the issue. Maybe yeah. that's the issue. I think you need a different reader. Uh, the fact that your card can be read and formatted in your camera means the card's fine. The camera mm -hmm. is a modern camera and is capable of seeing all four gigabytes. Mm -hmm. I think it, I haven't heard this. The weird, the only thing that is bizarre at all about this is that it's one gigabyte, not two. I don't know why it almost formatted one. No, it's not quite one, but yeah. Uh, well, yeah. there's always overhead. So, my suspicion is getting a new card reader, a more up-to-date card reader, will mm -hmm. fix it. But is, is there another viable alternative to my backup strategy? Because I'm looking for something that's no. very small. I think that's a good um, that's a good idea. Or a thumb drive, a flash is yeah. fine. Um, yeah. You know, it's a, a little faster to use a hard drive. I use an external hard drive, but I use it very much the same way you're using it. I think that's a mm -hmm. smart way to do it. If it all fits on four gigs, go for it. Go well, for it. I've, I've got about four or five cards that I use for different purposes. And so you're swapping them in and out. Yeah, the yeah. other way I like to do is a CD burner. I think every laptop should have a CD burner, and I back up the My Documents folder regularly onto CDs. Well, I, actually, when I do travel overseas, I, I back up the CD, I back up the compact flash or SD card. I, I like I, you. I, I take as many options as I you're can get. You're paranoid, and you should be, not just because it's a four-year-old laptop, but just in general. 
In yeah. general, that's a good thing. Yeah, it's the uh, the laptop's USB 1.1. If it's four years old, that might be the that's the problem. I bet you. Oh. It may not be the reader. It may be the laptop. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I didn't think about that. So that may be the issue. It is an old. Try try that same reader on a PC. Mm -hmm. See if it's the same, or if if you can see all four gigabytes on a PC, and maybe that would fix it. Okay. Because I don't, you know, this, it's a puzzlement. It may be a one point USB 1.1 issue. That may be where that one gig is. I don't know why it would be, but. Hmm. It could be. Anyway. Yeah, you're right. That, that could be it. Okay. Yeah, your strategy isn't bad. It's a great strategy. I think back okay, it up well, as many ways as you I'll can. I'll try some of those things. All right, David. Okay, bye. All the best. Take